Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Omnifactory. So it's been a while since I recorded the last episode. Oh, geez. <clears throat> my, la my sound just blew my ears out a little bit there. Okay. So yeah, it has been a while since I recorded an episode. I apologize for that. But, you know, things have been pretty crazy lately. Work and life and all that. <clears throat> so, uh, I am going to recap some things that I have done since the last episode. And uh, I just hope that I don't revisit things I've already covered. Any case, let's see here. All right. <clears throat> so you might see some changes along the way. I will try to cover everything. Now, where did I put it? Where did I put it? It's somewhere around here. Ah, here it is. Okay, so... I think I mentioned it at one point, but I said that I was gonna probably... Did I take it down, maybe? Um, I don't know. Anyway, I said that I was gonna probably speed up the wetware board production, and that's what I did. So, these are EUV uh, reactors, the most... the highest uh, machine that we can make. And uh, these faces here are stocking the fluid and stocking the boards and the cells. So this will only be active, see it says active with signal, if we have less than 4096 wet our boards. <clears throat> and I was kind of doing a reverse side, but I got distracted and um, I may go back and visit, or revisit that, but we'll see for now. But um, that's good. And then over here, I don't know if I covered this, but this is a dedicated dilithium ore to dilithium crystal maker, which it will take in all of the ore, pulverizes it, and claves it with deuterium and spits it out. And over here, I uh, I really I found out that you can use you can make liquid glass, so that's pretty neat. And uh, here's a creative tank of the liquid glass. Oh god, I got the hiccups. So this glass is going to be filtering into our solidifiers and emptying out into this drawer. So we've got like 51,000 glass now. I was doing this because I wanted to make sure that I had enough quartz on hand. And I had started to do another system, started to add a multi-smelter, and then I realized, wait, can you possibly smelt glass? And yeah, that's what happened from there. Uh, okay. I know I added a few solidifiers here. I believe manulian, solarium, platinum. I think that's new. Europium. Yeah, copper I didn't have apparently. Or gold. Um, and I think that's it. This, well, this used to be the glass, but I turned that off. Okay, I think that's that there. And then, let's see here. Microminer is fine. Nothing new there. I already covered this room, right? Nothing new here. Okay. And, oh yeah, so... <clears throat> I had set up this system over here to make gravel and sand. And then I was beginning to make a multi-smelter. And that's, like what I said, I found out that you can just make liquid glass. So I might chop this down and add in a e electrolyzer to turn uh, glass into um, quartz. So this is nothing more than some igneous extruders on the uh, resonant level w equipped with the pyroclastic injection upgrade, which makes it so it doesn't use up uh, water and then just speed upgrades. That can spit out into here and yeah, so on and so forth. Pretty self-explanatory. Now this, <clears throat> I made this big old tower for stocking materials. Uh, I only realized in hindsight that I could have probably just made the IV solidifiers do most of these things, the plates mostly. I said mostly twice, but I said, you know what? Screw it. I've got infinite power as it is anyway. Who cares? So we've got uh, electrum plates and foil, platinum foil and plates, and dirium. Platinum wire, you know, all this good stuff. Um, 
Oh yeah, Manulin dust. So I made this to make Manulin dust to react to make the uh, draconium dust, right? Uh, here we go. Manulin dust and dragon's breath. So it is nice having creative man Manulin. And uh, yeah, the tungsten carbide plating that is for the tier three micro miners. I've been having to make a lot of these in order to get the tier 10 micro miners in order to get the infinity catalysts, right? Because the infinity catalysts require a heart of the universe. <clears throat> so as you'll see here, infinity ingot, we're going to be needing at least 21 of these for the infinity armor and each infinity ingot is going to require um one infinity catalyst and as you can see here heart of the universe which of course comes from this so yeah i have been working on that i have about nine ships now and um yeah that we it's gonna take a while because we're gonna need oh god about a hundred ships i think um to get the end all item here uh da, 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 so lots of creative items that we need to make along with i think 28 additional ingots the sort of the cosmos is going to be another uh 8 11 ingots um <clears throat> i think that's oh yeah oh yeah that's already covered that i think that's it other than Oh, right. We need uh, 4 times 9, 36. Oh, calculator. 36 times 6. Oof. Okay. Never mind. We're going to need closer to 300 ships. I completely spaced on that calculation when I was doing the math the other day. Okay, well, it's going to be a while. So... To that effect, I am trying to speed up the time it takes to make everything. So hopefully we'll be able to do just that. All right. So <clears throat> next up, I have made four uh, micro miners here. And I don't know if they're active right now. It looks like they are. Yeah. So as you can see, there is the tier three micro miner and all the components it needs because we are sending off those ships to get exquisite diamonds exquisite i can't spell right we've got about sixty-three thousand right now i don't remember the exact math let me see if i can't pull up an excel sheet i think i have it somewhere here give me a moment okay i think i found it so each tier 10 micro miner is going to need six thousand and seventy two exquisite diamonds so in that math, we need, uh, uh, let's see, 7,040 tier three micro miners to get the diamonds we need, I believe. Wait, did I do my math here wrong? Oh, you know what? Uh, Give me a second here. I want to verify something. Okay, four, right? One, two, three, four, six. Okay, so equals just doing some calculations here. 60, uh, 16 times four. Wait, did I? What's the diamonds? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, did I? Oh. <clears throat> okay, yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I did my math wrong. So, yeah, we did, We still need 64 tier 3s for a tier 10. So, yeah. Tier 10s. Okay, so now that I know we need about 326, I'll go 330 tier 10s. That is going to change up our math a little bit. So that times that. Okay. 
Never mind, we're gonna need close to 21,000 tier 3 micro miners. So that's gonna be a while. <clears throat> okay, what's next on the list here? Where'd my notepad go? Okay, some. Oh, the electrum stuff. Oh, I covered that. I don't know. Okay, I think that's it actually. I've covered everything there. But let me just do another sweep through here. Nothing new here. Nothing new there. Uh, yeah, so there was another project that I wanted to do today. Because we're going to be needing quite a shit ton of tier 3 micro miners, um, we are going to expand the reinforced mining laser packager here and parallelize it. <clears throat> so that'll be one thing we'll be doing at some point. Um, but then another thing that I want to do, draconium is in here somewhere. Where are you? Did I not make one? Tablet? Ah, oh, here it is. Okay. So the tablet, okay, um, I don't need that. Excuse me. Attempted to open documentation, but there's no talk. What? What the fudge is going on here? Uh. Okay. I. Hmm. Whatever. Um. <clears throat> see where is it? Draconic reactor. No energy. St uh, oh, here we go. Oof. I don't like this mod in Project Intelligence. It I don't know. Anyway, uh, we want to make one of these storage cores, right? But we're going to go big. Okay. Yeah, so the tier 8 is effectively infinite power storage. It's something like a couple quadrillion, I think. Or, I, I, you know what? I think it may be, I think it may be int max. Or, I don't know. We'll see. Um... The, to that effect. Oh, please stop with this nonsense. Okay. Um, where is the page that tells me how much I need? Okay, tier A. Here we go. So, I'm gonna write this down so I don't have to keep revisiting this stupid intelligence thing. So, one energy core. Simple enough. Thirty six. Excuse me. Energy core stabilizers. Nothing unusual there. That is standard. 786 draconium blocks. And 378 oiken draconium blocks. <clears throat> All that is not going to be an issue at this point. The question, though, is where to put it. Where did my void boy go? There it is. <clears throat> Okay, so let me get my OBS open. So now we are in fire. We are pretty much in the lowest part of our of the base here. So I'm just trying to figure out where to put our power, honestly. Uh, you know what? I think we can go ahead and put it above the house uh, because the way that we're going to handle things we really don't need it to be connected to our base. So let's see. Um, Z tones. Let's see. Z tone. No, X tones. What block do I want to use here? Uh, the bore. No, uh, factory. There we go. Do I even have. Factory blocks enough craft. Okay, I do. And where is my chisel at? Chisel, 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 chisel. Chisel. Okay, let me get rid of that. So I'm thinking something like. Hmm, I don't know. I'm not the greatest with uh, aesthetic design here. Maybe like 
Rusty plate? Oh, hate hell. Eh, uh, no. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I don't like that either. Uh, I guess we could go Tyrion. Tyrion. Oh, I don't want I don't want that. Okay. Um right. So, energy core. We're going to need one of these. We're going to need the stabilizers. That will be crafted up. Is that Okay, that's the core. And there's a stabilizer. Crafting. Uh I wonder if that uh I get turned around here. Okay, so that's still being made in this thing. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. You know what? I will move the energy core stabilizer recipe. Oh. Wait, what's this doing? Okay, the cores. Okay, so I was saying I'm going to move the energy core stabilizer recipe over to the... Uh, Parallelizers at some point. Off camera, maybe. Because, as we can see here, we're going to be needing this. Well, less so for the creative stars, but more so for the tier 7 microminers. And considering that the tier 10 microminer requires 7 and 8s. We're going to be making that quite a bit, quite a bit, so that will speed that up. In the meantime, <clears throat> God, my throat's being all crazy today. In the meantime, oh, I'm just going to pop myself up. All right, sorry. Uh, okay, I'll put it like I'm going to do. Oh, alright, it's fine. Okay, get rid of that. Now, actually, I wanted to do, is there, oh, there's no, I can't make it so it goes out from the center. Okay. Actually, no, forget that. I'm going to do a line. We're going to do 13. So wait a minute, did I do that wrong? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, no, that's 13. So then if I do... What? Whoa! Okay, weird. Um... Wait, no, I think I did this wrong. This... I need to break that. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4... Wait, I did it. 1, 2, 3... Here. Okay, there we go. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Twelve, thirteen. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, I don't know why I was so confused there, but anywho. Now, oh, God damn it! I hate when it does that. Okay. I'm not too concerned about the solar power being blocked, honestly, because we have creative power. Right? And, um... If I really need solar power, I can move it. Why is it? There we go. Okay. Probably won't be enough. Oh, we had enough. Although, I might need to go grab some more soon. There's that. I wish it would tell you... <clears throat> I wish it would tell you when you're not having enough blocks more easily 
Okay, do to do, do to do, do to do, do to do, do do do. Nope. Okay, so I think I'll be able to figure out easily how large, how big of an orb the tier eight is, like vertically. Oh, a little bit of lag there. I have, do I have the core? No, I don't have the core on me. Okay. Once I get the once I get this done, I'm gonna go back down and grab the core. Okay, we're good there. Uh put that away. Now, if I go grab the energy core. Did it not make yet? Okay, it's still making, I guess. Oh, yeah, over here. Oh, shit. Okay. Did that finish? No. What's it need now? Okay, it needs the energy core. Is this going to be quick? Oh. There we go. Okay. It's going to be down here in a minute. And then I can uh, go put the core up on the roof. There we go. Grab the core. I got some Tyrion here. Where did my, where did my, let's see. No! Okay. So, in the middle here. Oh. Stop it. Okay, put that there. Now, if I... Okay, so tier eight. Okay, so that was a pretty good guess on how high it needs to be. What is with the heart? Oh, it must be the awakened blocks. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to raise this block up a couple more like that. And wait, what's this all about? Ah, okay, I see. Why is it? Oh, that must be like invalid blocks or something. Okay. But oof. Okay, you know what? I should be able to, uh, oh, <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll leave the top empty for a pillar and then I can just go back down and fill it up, right? I think I should be able to do that, right? Yeah. So I'm just going to drop that down back to the one again. Assemble core. Okay, so we don't have the core. We don't have the stabilizers yet But we will in due time Let me see about starting to build this So I'm gonna put some stuff away here Stuff that I don't need And let's see what was what was the so draconium, or I need calculator. Calculator. Okay, so 786 divided by 64, 12 stacks roughly. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Times 64. And then I think 18 blocks. Should be enough. It's so, alright, let's go and try and build this, shall we? What? Oh, hold on. Okay, I just looked over at my OBS and saw that it had stopped and started recording again. I don't know what happened there or where the video cut out at, but I'm back for a few more minutes. 
Oh, right. I need to get rid of that. And I'll be cutting back out again once we finish. Or once, um, wait. I'll be ending the episode in about five minutes or so, because I think that is how much time is left in this episode. And then we'll be coming back in the next episode and most likely building the rest of this cube here, the spear. So the reason I'm building this is that the vibrant capacitor bank that we have, it's way too birdie, birdie, bulk, bulky, and I just don't want to deal with it anymore, right? Um, so we are making a bigger storage battery. And to go along with it, I'm going to be making the, I don't know the right pronunciation of this. Let's see. Uh, energy, no, um, trans, uh, what is it called? The ender IO. Give me a second here. Uh, okay, here we go. The dimensional transceiver. Okay, I thought it was something different. It used to have a really weird name, but I guess they simplified it. So let's see. Oh yeah, so the dimensional transceiver is a method to transport items, fluids, and power wirelessly across any distance and between dimensions. So that will be useful. Um, it kind of reminds me back. It, it reminds me back in the day how there used to be were called tesseracts okay that was fine there so uh, they were called tesseracts and they were part of thermal expansion well as far as i know there's no thermal expansion in this pack at least not in the sense of um i mean we have thermal expansion items but we don't have the full-blown mod in this pack like we don't have the ducks which as of a few years ago or something maybe a few months to a few years he separated the mod into pieces so it would be easier to update uh yeah so like the ducks were just a way they were thermal the expansion's way of having like conduits essentially so thermal expansion has pipes and then they have little servos or what are they called silver they were called servos and ducks I forget what, but just essentially you would attach them to the pipe and it would withdraw or send or do whatever. And it was pretty great. So I think that's everything on this layer. Looks about right. So let me go up one more layer. Okay. So yeah, just a good old building stream. And I'll be able to get, I'll be able to do the dimensional transceivers for sure in either this epi in either next episode or the episode after. And given that we have creative fluid or creative every, well, not creative everything, but mostly creative everything, shouldn't be too bad to make. I'm just trying to remember why I needed oh, the power throughput. I'm sure it'll come to me eventually. Ah, dang it. Okay. Uh, over here. Over there. would assume that this building structure would tell me if there's a invalid block somewhere. So I think that is that for that layer. Everything looks okay. Okay. Now. Okay, now we're getting into the realm of awakened draconium. More or less. I think we've got one more layer to take care of here. 
Yeah, okay. So it tells you what block is invalid. That's what those red blocks were about earlier. That is pretty neat. I am kind of curious how long it would take to fill this up with the creative power, oh, the creative power source. Okay, I think we're gonna be, I think I'm gonna cut here and I will be back in the next episode and we'll continue from there. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you next time. Ta-ta for now.